So we're going to make a quick tutorial on conversion tracking. A um, couple of reasons you might want to do that. Usually you can have a pixel placed with your account manager or I usually like to use like a global postback URL so that I can just give them that one uh, postback and then it works for all offers but sometimes it doesn't work so sometimes you have to manually add a pixel or, or a postback to every single offer that you're running so for example in CPA trend you can see you can click on the offer that you're promoting click on testing and tracking you can see the postback URL here and then I also added you can do just the postback or you can do you can use a pixel either I just go ahead and put both just to show how it works but one or the other should should be fine um, so I'm just going to show how this works and how you use this with it with Prosper and where you get the pixel and the postback from so see this be naughty France offer if you click on the testing and tracking there's no postback URL and there's no pixel so where do we get that from we'll just log into Prosper and you'll go to setup in the setup tab and then the sub tab you'll get your number eight it's get postback or pixel um, this is something to note too sometimes networks only will accept a, a secure socket layer pixel or a postback so if you don't have SSL installed on your domain it's not going to work so you won't be able to set up that's not going to fire and you're not going to get the conversion tracking but most networks don't require an SSL um, so what you'll do here is just uh, if you're this is the global tracking pixel and then here's a postback URL so either way so for example we'll just take this copy and pay uh, we'll just copy this pixel And then we'll go to the offer, paste that in here. What you'll have to do is use the, the tokens here from the left side. You'll have to enter that. So like for example, we wanna we wanted to post back the the price of the lead that we're getting paid, so amount equals price. So you can see that automatically, if you just click on it, it'll in, uh, it'll put it in for you. And then, so that will work. And then you'll just go ahead and save it. If we look at the, I'm just going to go back to the 40s Connect offer that I already put this in, and show how I set that up. See here. So you need to use this is a dynamic variable and sub ID and then they use the pound s1 pound token for that and then the amount equals the token here is the price one which I just showed and then if you look at the post back the same thing you'll use the same tokens so everything after this question mark is our dynamic variables so amount equals price that's the token they use for cake and then and sub ID equals S1. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and enter the same thing. So just for the, the tracking domain, it's always going to be the same for all the offers. So the pixel. And again, you don't have to do the post back and the pixel just one or the other is fine you don't have to worry about this post back delay you can enter that if you want but it'll still work without that so then we just go ahead save this and then you kind of you really do need to do this for if you want tracking to work if it's if you're not on a global post back you want to put this in and save it for every offer that you're running um, that's why uh, if you can get your AM to use a, a global postback and it works, it makes it much easier. But sometimes that doesn't always work, so we got to do it manually on every single offer. 
and if these aren't done properly then you'll have to manually update the sub IDs in Prosper which I is another tutorial for that that I've already done but it looks like now we have all of our offers that we're running they do have that and if you want to you can generally say will you please pay, place this pixel I mean that's what your your account managers are that's their hair they're there to help you so can definitely do that and you can see this pixel right here um, it's hard to say whether or not it'll be working right because it's only passing the amount and there's no token here so we can put price there um, sub ID equals this one and in between sub ID equals S1 pound, pound S1 pound and then in between you have to make sure that you put the ampersand so that's how you uh, enter your pixels in cake and other platforms also like has offers it has a way for you to do this as well so that's it